This is the brand new lens blur tool inside of Adobe Lightroom, and it's blowing my mind. With traditional photography, the only way to get a nice out of focus background in your images is to either one, have a lens with a low aperture, or you need to have a telephoto lens that has a very long reach to get a lot of background compression and blur. But what Adobe has done has added a tool that may just remove the need for having a low aperture lens or a telephoto lens. But instead of just talking about it, I wanna show you exactly what I mean. So we've got a photo pulled up here in Lightroom Mobile. This tool is available on Lightroom Desktop and even Adobe Camera Raw inside of Photoshop. In order to use the lens blur tool, all you do is go to your normal settings panel and you would click on blur. Now at the time of this recording, this is an early access kind of beta tool. So if you want to use it and you don't see it on your toolbar, do this. Go to your app settings, click on early access, and make sure that you are getting early access to the features that Lightroom is putting out. So when you hit blur, you'll notice there's one slider for blur amount, and then there's these different types of out of focus shapes. And what these do is they help to mimic the effect of different types of lenses. So if you didn't know, all camera lenses have blades inside of them. And depending on the number of blades and the different shape of the blades and how it works in a circle, will determine what the look of the out of focus elements are in your image. So each one of these options gives you a different shape of the out of focus elements in your image. If I zoom in more, you can see the better shapes of the circles. I'm gonna hit bubble, five blade, a little bit more sharper edges ring which is very interesting and cat eye i think that's pretty cool because cat eye is sort of a imperfection that's in some lenses but i think it's cool that lightroom has that as an option to mimic those lenses the other great thing about this tool is that you can specifically choose where you want the focus in your image so in the bottom right there's a focus button you can choose either to focus on a certain point or focus on a subject. If you choose subject, Lightroom's AI is just gonna go to work and choose subject that it's seeing in the image. But if you choose point, you now have an actual spot where you can move that around and I can have a focus more on the background of the image or I could bring it back to the bird and just with an instant, I can choose the focus. Almost like you're actually focusing a lens on one point to another when you're shooting. And this tool has even more functionality inside of Lightroom Desktop. It gives you a lot more ability to choose specific range and sort of refine that tool. And it gives you good indicators of your depth in your image if you're interested in that. So yeah, I think that this is actually a really nice tool that they put inside of Lightroom. Sometimes things like this can be a little gimmicky because they don't really sell the effect very well whenever you're kind of faking it in post versus capturing it in the moment. But with the functionality of the different out of focus shapes and then being able to refine exactly how much and where specifically you want the focus plane to be it's actually a pretty nice effect that maybe some people won't really even notice and maybe you're someone who's just starting out into photography and all you have is a kit lens or maybe you're just shooting with your phone but you don't really like the look of portrait mode then using the blur tool inside of Lightroom is a good option for you to get more of that out of focus depth of field without actually having to have the proper lens for it. But I'm curious to get your thoughts about this tool in the comments down below. I know some people are a little more opinionated on doing things in posts and it's faking it. Other people think it's more artistic. So I'm kind of curious, what are your thoughts about this tool and other tools like this? Let me know in the comments down below. And while you're down there, if you got value out of this video, go ahead and add some value right back to it by hitting that like button. And you can check out all the links that I have to gear that I use my Lightroom presets and I've got also a ton of other videos about Lightroom so if you like this tool and you like Lightroom you'll want to check out this playlist because I got a lot of good stuff for you well until the next time my name is Axel Pack I'll see you in the next video peace